you are back. Welcome back to the kitchen. I know it's been a while, but we're finally back. Now, tonight, today, whatever you may be, wherever you may be watching from, pancakes. Now, it's not some ordinary pancakes, no. So Chef Rossi pancakes. I know you miss me so much. So, you know, I might as well just do something really basic. Now, first, you get your pancake batter powder from your store that sells pancake batter powder. And you get a nice bowl that you would like to use to pour this stuff in. Then, you put it back. And, you get the bowl you used from the last take you messed up. Now, first, with your water and your pancake batter, you want to shoo That's the sound effect the thing makes. Now you just got to really get in there, you know, get in. Oh, we may need some more water. Hold on. Hold on, folks. Some down. more water. All right, good. Got some more water. And just got to churn it like butter. Have you ever had butter before? Well, it's just like that. Just churn it. Make it look not oatmeal-y. You know, just gotta... Alright, we're gonna get it good. We gotta get it good. Mm, no bubbles. No bubbles at all. This SpongeBob would not like this. See the loves of bubbles. That's a joke. Now, see, it's starting, it's starting to get there. We're starting to get there. See? Take a, take a look. Take a look, you know? See? Looking, looking pretty smooth, you know? See, that's what you want. You want that drip. You want that... <clears throat> now, we'll just leave it there for a second. Now, for your pancakes, you're going to use heat. And what you came in, use fire. And we're going to use it too. Now, we're also, we're going to use, we're going to use the non-stick spray. No butter. When I can, butter, we're going to use butter, as I know to do, as soon as I find this butter wherever it may be wherever it may be wherever it may be okay folks so hold on a second we, we might not have butter okay well um we're going to take a look in the cabinet for i'm going to look in the cabinet that's my third hand and i we're going to die we found the butter <laughs> i mean i found the butter <laughs> Okay, so Woo. cool. Now that's you. That's you. Don't need to do that now. You stir it up a little more because you left it there for a bit. Put this back. Put this back with the lid on. And close that. Now you also want to turn this on. Now you see on the oven there are dots indicating which stove you are using. If you put the pan on the bottom left, you have to use the one that's on the bottom left, or else it will turn on a different one. We don't want to do that. Now let's light it. Oh, fire! Just like our ancestors used. Now let's turn it up a bit more. Now we're pouring it on there. Ooh, ooh! Come on, come on, get a look, get a look. Take a look, audience. That's our pancake. So there's a spatula to keep this baby in check. Now, we're going to keep this in, you know, a nice pancake shape. You know, we've got to keep it circular, like most pancakes are. <laughs> like the ones you eat at breakfast places. See, now, see, now it's, it's starting to harden, it's starting to harden. So now, now we just gotta turn up a bit more so we can get this nice and fast before it starts leaking all over the place. So we don't want that. No, we want a nice stiff pancake, just like me. Anyway, we just gotta. You Here's know. the pancake. Oh, see, see, it's starting to harden, folks. Starting to harden. You know, you know, we're doing good. Getting nice and hard. Okay, now. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> And we have to wait for the bubbles, of course, as I know, because I'm Chef Rossi. I know exactly what to do. Now, folks, while we're looking at that, we always have to keep an eye on it, or else, a while, we get a drink. Because who, who doesn't have a drink with their meal? Nobody, because they'd be retarded if they did. See the bubbles? You got to watch out for them. Ooh, pop the bubbles is what we have to do. And we will pour some more. 
and pour some more. Just a bit on it. Just a bit. Ooh, see? So it goes up. Because we want things to go up in this world. You know, if, if everything went down, it would be sad. Because down is sad, up is happy. Why? I don't fucking know. Anyway. Drink. Right? It's cups. Right. Cups are used for containing drinks. As most people say. In the lands of old. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We will use this fancy thing. Now we will pour our milk. Now this, this is the most important part of this whole video. Just ready? Good! Okay, now back to our pancake. Now our pancakes, you see, it's starting to harden. We can, we can pick it up and flip it over. Yes. Gotta get under that baby and... Whoa! Totally cool, right? Yeah, I know. See how it's all brown? And it's, that means it's gonna be done soon. Now, a while, a while we're doing that, while you cook it, you can add seasonings such as ground black pepper. I love me some ground ground pepper. You put that in there, like so it it molds into the pancake. You know, press it, press it down a little, make sure. Now we can we can tone it down a bit. Tone tone it down a bit. You know, and <laughs> I'm good. Okay, and we'll get our plate to prepare for the pancake. Now there's a little more milk out of the way. The way and put the lid back on because you don't want milk going bad unless you like cheese. <laughs> if you like cheese, well, don't put the lid back on. Simple as that. Anyway, now we have our beautiful cold milk, right? While our pancake is smoking hot over here, which is supposed to happen. Now maybe we can flip it over. No, we can't flip it over. Can we? can we? I think we can. I think we can. I'll give it a shot. Okay, hold on a second. Woo! Pancakey. Am I right? Yes, just like any other pancake. We'll tone it down a bit more, because I'm not, because, you know, I know what I'm doing here. And, you know, get the pepper, spread that pepper around, you know? We don't want, like, one spot filled with pepper now. We have to equally distribute the pepper, as you can see. It's all over here. We just, you know, we'll, we'll fix it in a bit. We'll fix it in a bit. Now, with our milk, we don't want just any old milk. No. You see, we're having pancakes, right? So we need syrup with our pancakes. Now, let me just... See, and also preferably, if you can get the ones with the happy face, not the sad face, the sad face always tastes bad. Just pour it in there, you know, just ooh, do fancy shapes and color, wait, not colors, but shapes, and just pour, pour it in there, you know? That, that's how you make pancakes. Well, a drink for pancake. Now, a pancake seems to be finishing up here. Let me just take another look at the other side. Ooh, perfect. Now. We have to turn it off by going back to high, and then when you hear that clicking sound, it goes immediately off. Amazing what humans can accomplish, am I right? Now, let's put the pancake, yeah, that side, that side looks prettier. So you always want to make your food look pretty, or else... <laughs> anyway, you also, now we don't have to time ourselves since we have hot flaming things on the oven because we always have to have safety precautions in the kitchen. Now, to stir, all you have to do is take a regular old spoon like this and just twirl it around because you want to get that syrup mixed in with the milk. Now as you can see, it's not really taking on any sort of shape which is awfully strange. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, which is supposed to happen. And I knew it would happen. Just make it nice and stirry. Oh, actually, yeah, it's starting a little yellow, which is supposed to happen. And bubbles, and now all the sorts. Now, with your pancake, this is an unfinished pancake. <laughs> let's, let's be honest here. Completely unfinished. We, we gotta make it more pancakey. Keep the spoon in there for now. Now, what do you put on a pancake, you may ask? Syrup? No. More syrup? <laughs> no! <laughs> syrup? You know what we have to put? We have to put some nice... No, no, not applesauce. Applesauce is, you know, this... We're supposed to make this... Pancakes are a dessert, right? As your mother may have told you. No, no candy until after you finished your pancakes. Well... 
<laughs> That's some bullshit. It's no pancakes after you finish your candy. Now, we're gonna squirt chocolate syrup. Mmm, man, doesn't that look good? Right? See? It's actually good. It's chocolate syrup and pancakes. Who would have guessed? Now, with our beautiful, beautiful chocolate syrup pancakes, yeah, we also want to put some other sweets and treats. Yeah, head pages. Just, just, and we want to decorate it nice. Put a heart in the center, a lime, another lime, another watermelon, and another lime. Now, we will put these back, right? And that doesn't close. Okay. So, now, <laughs> after this, we, we have a nice full pancake, right? Now all we have to do is cut it. Now when you're cutting, you have to be careful not to cut your fingers, because you'll need those to make more of these delicious pancakes, right? So, just cut it nicely in half, right? So you can share with your friends and family and all who adore delicious pancakes. Now, oh, yes, but you, you see, remember all the audience, we, we can do it like this. Yeah, and now just cut it right in the center of that second piece, just like this, how all professional cooks cut it, right? And voila! Now, we have our beautiful dessert pancakes and our wonderful pancake milk. Now, let's give it a try, shall we? Now, first, we have to get our utensils for eating, which would be this magnificent Trite, tr Triton, I think it's called? Yes. It's small. So, oh, you, al you always have to get the runts on there. Now, just, you have to be careful because you don't want it to fall. Just, oh. Mmm. Amazing. Now, your mouth might be sweet and choppy, so you would want to wash it down with some nice syrupy milk. Now, it may, it may be a little bit much for you, so just get a little bit from the spoon and... <clears throat> this gets my rating of a 10 out of 5. See you all next time. <laughs>